working on a mosaic that's going to be one of the first things that helps celebrate the 25th anniversary of the Clever Hand at its Wellesley location. It's been in business for 45 years, but 25 in Wellesley. And it includes photographs of mosaics made by young children at July Jubilation on July 21st. And we've made photographs of those and we're cutting them up and putting them in a Clever Hand logo. That, and this will go in the window when we finish with it. They were made uh, during July Jubilation at a table in the middle of the street, in Central Street um, in Wellesley. And the kids got to take the originals home and we took a picture of each one. So that's what, that's what this includes. Uh, the Clever Hand uh, has 23 members, artists, member artists, and they represent all different crafts. There are also about 50 consigners who do different crafts as well. They're, everybody's work is sold at the Clever Hand. And it's a wonderful place to go to get handmade, oftentimes original, one-of-a-kind pieces that you can give as a gift or for yourself. And it's lovely to be able to buy something that's made by somebody instead of manufactured on an assembly line. So the store has been successful all these years, which is quite a feat considering it's quite difficult for small businesses to survive, especially for as long as Clever Hand has. And it's an honor to work there and sell my work there, and it's an honor to work with other artists who do beautiful things, make beautiful things. And the members work at the store, so they have to be within somewhat community distance um, to be able to work three to four days, a uh, half days a month. I think the quality of the work and the variety of different crafts represented help meet the needs of the customers who come in. I do photography, so I was lucky enough in 2009 to publish a photography book of small wooden boats in New England, which really don't exist any longer. Wooden boats have been replaced by boats made of fiberglass and plastic. And I worked at Dana Hall School as an administrator for 19 years, and when I retired, I wanted to promote the book. Talked to Jackie, I think the first person I talked with about becoming a member and dropped off my stuff that was juried and was accepted and um, have been there for a year and a half now selling my photographs. And they're not only of boats, they're of uh, glass and ice and water and they're abstract images. And I sell cards there, I've sold calendars there, uh, framed photographs, canvas photographs. My book is for sale there. It's an artist cooperative and people come from all over the area to sell their work and we meet monthly and discuss all the, you know, the bylaws and the policies and issues that have come up and how to take care of the store and talk about work shifts and so forth and uh, people may not know of all the goings on that, that take place by the members to make it a successful business. Yeah, I think there are a good number of people who are retired from working who do this as their job. Mm -hmm. um, that is my guess. Well, I have been making glass since the late 70s, and when I started making kiln form glass, um, I was looking for venues to get my work out into the public more, and was looking to sell sell my work as a professional glass artist instead of um, just doing it as a hobby. And, and I approached Clever Hand, I think seven years ago? I think about seven years ago I, I approached and I, um, and, and I had my work juried and they accepted me and I've been an active member ever since. And what, a, what I find wonderful about the Clever Hand is that majority of the people that are members, as well as consigners, are local to the store. So when people come in to look at the work, they're actually witnessing arts and crafts from their neighbors and their friends and women and men who live in their neighbors to see the talent that's actually going to, to Metro West and to Boston. So they're supporting their neighbors. They're keeping, you know, you talk about keeping it 
local people keeping it local and buy local. And this is a perfect example of an economy that where we support each other by buying something that's unique and exclusive just to the clever hand. And it's not buying from China, going to the malls and finding something that they can find at any mall across the country. So it helps make Wellesley and the Metro West community a very um, desirable area to be because they're finding something special. And the members are very, very dedicated and it's like a sisterhood. And we have a few men who are members and so they're part of the sisterhood. Um, it, the, the camaraderie that goes on between the members is really wonderful. We work together as a team, we have good discussions, we are always looking to better ourselves and for finding new ways to um, you know, promote our art and new ideas for our own art. And um, it's a wonderful way to um, support each other as artists in the area. And so that being said, Clever Hand is a very wonderful resource, not only as the members to create, but the people who come in to purchase. We stand by our work. If we're not just an empty name, they come in and buy something, we stand by what we do. There's actually a face and a story and a history between, between the, the, the work, the, the pieces that we put out. If something goes wrong or something breaks, we fix it. We're there to support the, the customer who, who looks to purchase something. We do custom work. And um, it's just a, it's, it's just a, helps to add to the quality of our lives to be a member. Other than trying to, you know, wanting to pay our bills and eat, it's a, I, there's a lot of satisfaction in people liking my work. I'll be very honest with you. I love making pretty things. I, I strive to constantly improve my work and, and come up with new ideas and new techniques. And when someone comes along and wants to purchase it for their own, you know, for their for their own joy, that gives me joy. That that motivates me to keep on wanting to do it. So it's not as it's not so much about earning money. It's about being able to make something that you think is beautiful and finding and sharing that. And when somebody else finds it beautiful as well, it's a very fulfilling feeling.